Hey, hear ye, we got a declaration from Mr. Tory Lanez. We got a declaration. Hear ye, hear ye, he's here to speak. He says he feels as people played and betrayed him. So, of course, when I see this title, I'm like, oh, you're about to talk to Megan Shit. If you don't know, Tory Lanez about to drop some new music. He says it's about to be stupid. So, I know he's going to talk about that. She's going to run it up. And I'm one of them niggas that I enjoy that they start album. It has some songs on there. I liked the one before. It was the, uh, it had Dope Boy Diaries on it. What was it fucking called? Shit. <laughs> oh, man. I forgot the name of that fucking album, but I enjoyed that album. That was a good album. I, I liked it. Fuck. What was that album called? New Toronto 3. I liked that album. Then he dropped. What? No, Ching's Tables before that, right? Or was Ching's Tape after that? Ching's Tables before that, then New Toronto 3. Then he dropped Daystar, which was cool. Then he dropped, like, the Still Outside EP. Then he dropped some, like, fucking uh, Namek bullshit. Like, it was, like, a N NFT, probably whatever the fuck it was. But anyways, he dropped that bullshit. And then now he's saying the new music about to be stupid, so we're going to see what the fuck going on. Of course, this makes shit that's going on, so we'll see what the fuck happens if he addresses it more on this latest album. Besides all that, hey, what's up, what's happening? It's K.A. We back in the stand case. So good, he sleep with a cut up a throne. You know, the little nigga want a throne, papi chulo. Okay, I'm done. Anyways, we here to talk about this shit real quick. Shout out, go to Mob Strong Like a Navy. Y'all been going crazy for me for a little bit. I appreciate y'all. Y'all my supporters. I ain't call you subscribers. I feel like that fool. fool. But anyways, yeah, man, like, subscribe. Help your boy. I help your boy. Girl, you know what it is. You know I'm the kid. You know I tap my shit in my fleas. You hear me? But anyways. I said it twice, I know I did. Let's get into the little article. So, are you ready for another Tory Lanez season? The rapper singer has delivered several projects over the last few years, including his popular capsule collection. There was the New Toronto 3. I forgot about Loner, thank you. Loner, Alone at Prom, VVS Capsule, We Outside, and Daystar. And those are only the releases from 2020. Wait, he dropped all that shit in 2020? Fuck. Really? It doesn't look as if it doesn't look at, as if the push is slowing down anytime soon because a recent tweet by Lane suggested he's still in the studio working on his next hit. It is unclear if Lane's is preparing a studio LP or a mixtape, but he's shared that he should that it should be a banger. <clears throat> it was a quote from Tory Lane's, you know what I'm saying? So it's it's a time where I feel like a lot of niggas played me and betrayed me. Tory Lanez tweeted on March seventh, and on top of that, I just gotta go out. And I just gotta, I just got out a, a crazy breakup. The music about to be stupid. Nigga, who the fuck was you dating? Is you talking about the Megan shit? Is that what you talking about? The coke. Hey, anyways. His fans were quick to share their excitement while others continued to speculate about his ongoing case involving Megan Thee And of course, we're speculating that that shit got pushed back to April, right? Oh, God. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be back in April with another one of them videos, boy. I swear. Anyways. It has been over a year that Lanes has been fighting to maintain his freedom and his career hasn't wavered over the controversy. His albums have continued to do well and his supporters have been solid. So it will be interesting to hear if Lanes drops names on people he feels turned their backs on him. Yeah, and that's what I fucking speculate, to be fair. I speculate that, just like on Daystar, when he was naming some of the people that betrayed him or had views on him without, like, information coming out, him saying he's innocent, we gonna hear, like, some of the people, like, maybe he thought he was really cool with, like, turn their back on him in that situation and not really rock with him to see what the fuck was going on with him and what the fuck it is. You know what I'm saying? I get it. When we hear, like, a girl got shot, you know what I'm saying? We go into a, a brother mode like that. We look at shorty like those sis, and of course, we don't want nothing to happen to women, of course. But at the same time, if he's innocent and he didn't do it, and that's the thing. I remember when it first happened, I was one of those people. I'm like, Tori, I don't know about this. This looks very bad for you. But as time went, it didn't have to take a year for me. As the months went and I, more information was coming out and this whole Megan Kelsey shit and they had the argument. I'm like, Meg, your story ain't holding up. There's some shit that we don't know about. The security guard just went fucking missing. Why you and Kelsey really have beef? Like, it was just like, yeah, some of this shit, Meg, I don't know. I can't take your story 100%, bro. The truth is somewhere in the middle between both of your shit. 
Now, I'm not going to say this nigga didn't shoot you, but then, then a year passed, and I'm like, okay, what the fuck's going on? And then recently, the fucking the DNA evidence is inconclusive. So I'm sitting here looking like, bro, man, what the fuck is he on? Like, dead ass, because like, I'm like, what the fuck is going on in this situation? It's taking this long to figure this shit out. It, de- bro, Scooby-Doo and Blue's Clues can figure this shit out faster than these niggas is taking at this fucking point. But, like, I'm just like, whatever. And allegedly, there's a fucking video. So if there's a video, nigga, yo, bring Kylie Jenner to court. <laughs> bring Kylie Jenner to court at this point. Fuck it. Bring her to court. Subpoena ass. I'm tired. Because, <laughs> bro, shit like this got to get figured out. I know the Kardashians are mad that the show is finished. Because if Kylie gets subpoenaed to court and they could capture this for the reality show, I know they mad as hell. They like, fuck, we canceled it when this bullshit. Right, Kylie, you got lit. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, that season would have been immaculate. Kylie and this bullshit. Fucking Tristan one foot in, one foot out, Thompson. Nigga be fucking, nigga be fucking Chloe. And then in two days, the nigga fucking son knows. Fucking Kanye and Kim. And they battle. This nigga climbing fences like he's escaping jail just to go to his daughter's birthday party. What? <laughs> nigga, this is quality television. <laughs> nigga, I'll be that. I'll be throwing back popcorn like a motherfucker. You hear me? Anyways, hey, listen, Toy, I'm here for the music. I wouldn't mind some music. Again, I enjoyed Loner. I enjoyed the We Outside EP. I enjoyed um, Shing's Tape and Daystar and New Toronto 3. I wouldn't mind another tape from you. I enjoy your music. It will sound well. If you want to talk about the motherfuckers that betrayed you, hey, we like when you talk about that real shit in your music. We like that shit, you know what I'm saying? So I would not mind if you bring that into your music and you talk about the motherfuckers that betrayed you and all this other shit. And it is what it is. And now you see, like, I remember when that shit came out with the Tory shit. A lot of people had that strong stance like, oh, yo, you can't do that to a woman, you know baby, girl. You know what I'm saying? Saying all that bullshit. Now niggas like, you don't know, this is very confusing. I don't know what's happening. This is a very confusing case. It's like, you, sh- you shouldn't be too quick. And I say it a lot of the time, like, hey, this sound crazy? I ain't gonna say that nigga did it. Until, like, a lot of bullshit come out, I'm like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was in the middle, but I ain't gonna lie. This shit swaying me. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? It swaying me. I still don't 100%, even with the Chris Brown and the, and the Trey Song shit. The only reason why the Trey Songs, I'm kind of, like, leaning towards the accusers is too many niggas came up to accuse this nigga. At this point, I'm like, all right, bro. Like, some of this shit gotta be true. There's no way there's many people just out here lying. This is ridiculous. <laughs> like... You know what I'm saying? That's the only reason with with, with Tory Lane, uh, not Tory Lane's Trey Songz. There's a little asterisk beside his name. But besides that, Tory, we gonna see what happened. I don't know, bro. At this point, I don't really know if he shot me. I don't know, cause like a lot of this information, I'm just like, what the fuck now? Like I think I had a video within that year, like yo, Tory Lane's might be fucking innocent. I had a video that fucking year, in, when it happened, like 2020 or early 2021. I was like, Tory Lane's might be fucking innocent, cause some of this shit, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But we gonna see. They're gonna have their day in court and we're gonna try to figure this shit out, man. Honestly. Tori, I'm still here with you, man. I don't give a fuck if you did it or not. I'm still listening to the music at this point, nigga. Fuck it. Oh, nigga. It, it is what it is. Also, part, I, I almost got this nigga party next door, but Palace and Phone Tank. Relax. Stop trying to fight niggas and, and be in your woman corner and just tell her to chill. Because her talking online and Tori talking online, it ain't good. Just tell both these niggas to shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, the only niggas that is really our fault, because remember when Tory on his album, Daystar was like, Megan's like, uh, team was trying to put the blame on me, and she's like, yo, his team's trying to put... That's the only truth I heard. That's the only truth I heard. So, shit. We'll see what happens. By the way, I think Meg can't drop music because of her shit with, uh, 1501. I don't fucking know, bro. That's a, even another confusing situation. She had, like, beef with Erica Banks or some boy. Dog. Anyways. Man, get your music right, Tori. I love to hear some music. Tell me what the motherfuckers betrayed you. I've been said, bro. All the motherfuckers. If you come out innocent, bro. All the motherfuckers. Yeah, nigga. Billboard, give this nigga a hit. You this nigga number one. You yeah. All these niggas gonna be like, yo, Tori, my bad. Like, these niggas gonna be coming. They're ready to suck this nigga off. Pause. Like, hey. It yeah, what it is, bro. Anyways, I said my piece on it. What do you feel? You ready for new music? You think it's just going to him talk about the Megan share? You just think it's going to be the simple shit that Tori does, you know, very well. 
Put your comments down below. Check out the links in the description. I got some other videos for y'all to check out. And besides all that, you already know what it is. It's your friendly neighborhood, K.A. The Black TJ Dead Wilder in this thing. My name ring bells like Quasimodo. Hit like and subscribe if you want to hear a little bit more. And I'm off of this thing. Slime Zoom, peace, y'all. Elgin gang. Aye.